What's good, y'all? White Boy Entertainment. First video of NBA 2K21, bro. We're about to go so fucking crazy this year. We're hitting 10K subs 2K21. I'm, de I'm dead ass. We're coming, we're coming crazy, bro. Like last year, I didn't take 2K serious until the middle of last year. But I'm telling you, I'm starting off hot, bro. This game might be ass with the new aim the stick. We're not even going to talk about that. But I'm giving y'all today the best fucking point guard build in the game. Don't listen to none of these other YouTubers. I don't care how many subs they got. I'm the best build maker in the game. And I'm telling y'all, bro, it's going to be... I'm going off this year, bro. This build, let me just tell y'all just... Just to, you know, let me just tell y'all real quick. It's a fucking... This is a two-way mid-range shooter, bro. I don't think anybody's made this yet. I, it's, I made it completely by myself. No videos, of course. Never have, never will. Uh... And this year, I love, the one thing I love about this new 2K, the one thing I already love is that they took out quick draw. So the shooting badge is really, you can have 14, 15 and you're fine. Last year at 17 would be really a stretch. So now we're fucking, we're good, dude. So now it's, yeah, shooting is, I don't know, that's a huge deal this year. So let's get into it though. This is the best. It's like, a, there's new pie charts, but don't get distracted by that. It's not really, they're just trying to make the game look better, but it's really literally nothing. But this is the best guard in the game. It's like a perimeter lockdown, but it's even better. It has a little more offense, but it has more defense by the same time. You're going to see what I'm saying. Just y'all stick around to the end of the video. Drop a like, drop a sub. It's way more bangers on the way. Y'all comment what build y'all want to see. I got some in store. I'm going to try to get as many build videos up before the real game comes out and shit. But yeah, y'all comment what y'all want to see. Because I'm, I'll make whatever y'all want, bro. Y'all want a Giannis build. I'm, I got the best interior finisher build coming soon, but yeah, y'all just stay tuned, bro. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna keep this short and simple. I'm not gonna sit here and just talk and get a 10 minute video out, but all right, so look. So look, so look, so look. Let me just show y'all real quick. So this build, people are getting this. This is a nice build because you get a little more defense, but it's not worth it because that this year they're kind of cracking down on shooting. I know they always say that, but I think this year they're gonna be a little more strict. They're gonna be a little more strict when it comes to shooting. Like, you're not going to have a 63 in green like last year. You could have a 67 in green hash mark every single time if you're in cold. But, I mean, that's what Mike Wang's saying. They're going to crack down on it, but I don't know. So, you want to go with the half shooting, half red. Don't go, don't do that weird shit where it's a little, like, nah, don't do that shit. Half green, half red. And here's where it gets tough. You can do this one, right? This is where you want to decide. You want to go, am I going to be playing stage? Am I going to be cooking people up? Am I really going to run fucking guard? Like, really, really nasty. I think you should pick this one, but for some reason, my brain always tells me I just always want to pick that one right there because that vertical, I'm going to be snagging. I'm going to be doing crazy shit. It's really tough, bro, because it's like, I'm still going to snag with that 70 vertical. I'm really, I don't know. What do you guys think, bro? I just, it's tough. I'm going to leave it up to y'all. If you guys want to be more defensive base and actually, like, be noticeable, that 83 vertical and with the weight down, it's going to be like 86. You're going to get huge blocks, huge rebounds, and you're going to have 21 defense badges. So I think that's probably better. But I know that you want to be like a fast-ass defender. I don't know. Let's just see how this looks. Let's just see. Because if I can get an 80 vertical still, then I'm going to keep it. Let's just try it out. Because last time I did the other way. And let's just see if this is... Because I, I feel like that speed as a guard, you're st I'm still going to have great defense with the defense badges. So maybe a 70 vertical versus an 85, you know. I always, for some reason, ever since that 6-7 pain beast, I just, I was so in love with the vertical stat. I just didn't care about anything else. So maybe this year it could be different. But yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. I know I'm coming crazy with the builds. So you want to do exactly 76 post fade. Unless that gives you more. Yeah, see how the free throw gives you more because you they value it less. Like a close shot. You know what I mean? Nobody cares about that. Max out behind them for sure. And I'm not the... I can dribble really good. And there's... I like the new dribbling this year. But I don't like the controls because it's too specific and shit. Like a diagonal hold to get a hezzy escape and momentum behind the backs. It's fucking fucked up. But my point is... I don't think... I think the key that... My guard needs an 87 ball handle. I think that's bullshit. I think if you're fast enough and you know how to kind of dribble enough. Especially for a guy like me. I don't need that at all. I really don't even want it at that point. So... I don't know. My point is... You're good with that 77 ball handle. And it's just going to go even higher. Yeah. It's a great build, y'all. I'm serious. Um, max out perimeter defense. Interior. Steel. That's how you get the big bucks right there. And then... Ah, shit. I had it like this. And then I had... I can take that last. I had that max out. I could have just taken that down a little bit. Max this out. Yep. And then I can max this out. I think that's perfect right there. Well, let's just see what happens if I were to do 18. That's a fucking... This is a great build, dude. I don't even know if I want to do 22 of those. Or if I want to do 11 playmaking. Nah. Might just do that extra defense badge. But then again, it's like the extra shooting badge, you know? 
But then again, it's like, do I really need all those shooting badges? It's tough. It's up to you guys. You gotta add plus four, like, shooting badges to this. So this is pretty much having 23 shooting badges from last year. There's no quick draw. And I don't even know if I really need 23 shooting badges, dude. So... Fuck it. I'm doing it like this. I don't really care. Now we're gonna do it like this, bro. I like this better. Because I feel like more defense badges is more important than that one extra shooting badge that you don't really need. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I should have this kind of planned out for y'all. But for some reason, I just... I don't know. I just kind of am like retarded. All right. We're going to leave it like that. So how many badges is that? That's 51 badges. Like a nice little shooting lockdown that can facilitate a point guard. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking the speed one better now that I think about it because I'm more of a point guard. And I still got a 75 vertical about. Let's do built. 6'5". Don't get this on because 6'6", six, six, you're a little too tall. But look at that, bro. This is so fucking perfect. 6'5", you keep the three ball. But then 6'6", six, six, you lose 3'3", three, three, and you lose two speed. Trust me on this. This is one of the, this is probably the best point guard in the game. It is the best point guard in the game. And then I'm going to get... Oh, my God. Dude. And I get park dunks. Yep. My block's kind of low. It's weak. Uh, I'm going to bring that down. One eighty two. Okay, last year I was like, oh, wingspan down. We're not doing that this year, bro. We're going long body. I want long arms, boy. All right, three ticks up because a 73 is good. I can still green. That's a good shot. I have now I have long arms and I'm a lockdown defender and I can green, but I still have that 78 three. 77 makes me a little uncomfortable and I got an 89 speed. That's pretty raw. As I think that's cold as fuck. I'm, I'm still kind of debating. It's like, should I do the vertical? Because I'll probably get way more chase down blocks and nasty ass shit. Because if I have 22 defense badges, I feel like I should. That's what I'm saying. This way, I mean, the other way, it'll. this is better. Especially with that lack of ball handle, you're faster and shit. But, okay. If I was cold, I would do, like, playmaking. But, fuck that. I'm going to do... I'm going to do sharp. Lock takeover is kind of ass. Shot creating would be good. But I'm going to do sharp takeover. And, yeah. And this is my last build slot. So, I don't want to accidentally click the wrong button and... Have it like where I can't make any more builds. So I'm not even going to show you all the badges. Because you already know what I would do. Just Hall of Fame range. All that shit. I know I always do that. But let's see what this is. Hopefully it's still called a two-way mid-range shooter. If it's not, I'm going to get pissed. Yup. Two-way mid-range shooter. Steph Curry. John Wall. Steve Francis. This is the best point guard build in the game, bro. Like this is literally Bronny speed boosting perimeter lockdown legend build last year. This is the best point guard build in the fucking game. Y'all drop a like. Drop a sub. Stay tuned for way more videos, bro. I'm about to start going fucking crazy. But yeah, love y'all. Stay tuned. I'm out.